So we are here following the pairs free again. I am without the illustrious Asher Hill. He is indisposed. So I have someone even better who actually knows pairs. I love you, Asher. Megan Duhamel, she needs no introduction. Welcome, Megan. Hey, thanks for having me again. Yes, thanks for being back. So let's start it off with the podium in first place, defending their title again, Chris Moore Towers and Michael Marinero. In second place, silver medalists Evelyn Walsh and Trent Michaud. And in third place, Deanna Stellato and Maxime Deschamps. That was quite a pair free program. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever cried during a coverage like I did today after Trent and Evelyn's free skate. Um, that was some great skating all around. And as you said on the feed, you know, both Trent and Evelyn and Kirsten and Mike struggling throughout the season with their consistency and managing to bounce back, turn it around with no audience, all this buildup, all this pressure and being able to um, deliver it. Those are the kind of moments that you remember, um, you know, post-career forever. Yeah. And that that's the sign of great athletes, right? That's what mm -hmm. great athletes mm -hmm. do. They turn the page, they turn it around. It's a beautiful thing to watch people come out of a struggle. Like, does that make sense? Like, it's not pleasant to see people struggle, but it's really beautiful to see them get to the other side. Let's start with Kirsten and Mike. Uh, again, national champions, uh, defending their title, skating beautifully, almost two flawless programs. Uh, what were your thoughts on their skate tonight? I think they looked like a different team than what we watched earlier in the season. Earlier in the season, I found that they looked really distracted. Um, mm -hmm. They were competing poorly and it didn't appear like they were under trained. It just appeared like there was a distraction. They weren't present. And um, I found that, you know, it was the complete opposite at this event. They looked focused, they looked confident and they looked present and in the moment. And when they put themselves in that position mentally, these elements are easy for them to do. Mm -hmm. um, these elements only become a struggle when you are not in the right place mentally. So, so great to see. And hopefully they're going to keep on climbing and taking the momentum that they just created here towards the Olympics in Beijing so that they can have the their great Olympic moment that they're dreaming about. I think their twist was even better in this free. I agree and, it was. And Kirsten looked more confident in the jump, saving that triple toe. Um, and uh, yeah, everything just was like at this the even keel pace. Yeah. Like it was just an it kind of appeared like an effortless flow. Sometimes mm -hmm. we see skaters that get a lot of speed, but they're working really hard. Yeah, It was just effortless, very light. You only get a few performances like that in your career. So what an amazing way to uh, finish their last, I mean, as they've said, their last national championships, their third national title and Kirsten's fourth. Like what a yeah. what an amazing career as a pair skater for Canada. Um, yeah, continuing that's the, noting 12 years between her first national title right? Yeah. 12, 11 or 12 years between wow. first national title that you're that making me feel so old. <laughs> <laughs> and then moving on to Trent and Evelyn, also really struggling this season and seeing, seeing what they are capable of again, you know, they're known for their consistency and laying it down, especially at nationals. And they did that. And I saw a lot of improvement in their artistry and their attention to detail. I still find a little bit when um, there's some moments where they toe push a bit or they can get a little choppy on forward crossovers. There's little nuances that I can still see that they're going to work on and continue to grow with. But how far they've come over this whole quadrennial is nothing shy of amazing. Like we, we were just saying with Kirsten and Michael that have that effortless flow. Mm -hmm. That's the difference between that light and airy effortless flow and the, the flow and the speed that you're working you're working at. Right. Um, but that being said, they did nail down their best performance of the season. They are now the three-time national silver medalist throughout this quadrennial um, between 2018 and, and now. Their score, 118. Um, 19. 119, sorry. Not, not um, <laughs> in change. <laughs> um, not, not a super, super strong score uh, for them. How do you think that'll pan out in terms of deciding the Olympic team as obviously the elephant in the room, Eric and Vanessa opted out of skating the free program, obviously feeling not ready and feeling like they had through their body of work through the season, enough of an argument to have them on the team. How do you think Trent and Evelyn's free program will measure up to that? Well, I think Evelyn and Trent did what they could do here mm -hmm. at nationals. Um, they'll definitely leave here. I would assume with no regrets in that regard. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, 
that's all you can ask for as a skater, right? Um, I think that if I average out Eric and Vanessa's free skates, they've been scoring an average of 122 to 123 in a free skate. They've hit 124. They hit 130, but they were also on the lower end of the between 115 and 120. Um, so Trent and Evelyn score a little bit lower than the average free skate of Eric and Vanessa. Um, so that definitely will factor in. Um, mm -hmm. Trent and Evelyn and Eric and Vanessa went head to head twice this season. So they haven't gone head to head much this season. So mm -hmm. it's hard to compare those times. Um, two shorts, Trent came ahead, the only long program, Eric came ahead. So, I mean, that's, you know, give or take. Um, I think that Trent and Evelyn are, are going to leave nationals feeling really proud of themselves, proud of their performance. Everything is out of their hands. Now, Eric and Vanessa have a body of work from this season. They like Kirsten and Mike and Evelyn and Trent have not been competing well. So it's mm -hmm. not like they were skating these lights out performances, but they were the best scoring team in Canada in the right. first half of the season, for sure. Trent and Evelyn have the body of work from, three national silver medals in the last few years and competing at worlds last year. So both of these things are important in the body. Yeah. Both of these things are going to be looked at. Um, and we'll see from there. Not an easy choice for the selection committee. Um, yeah. Especially when Trent and Evelyn delivered like this, it'll make the decision. Right. right. It's going to be difficult. A little bit more difficult. It's going to be difficult. And I think there's going to be, you know, no matter what, there's going to be some heartbreak. And unfortunately every Olympic season there is, <laughs> This just Nothing adds a whole there. We've been twist. Through it. <laughs> yeah, yes, 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 tons of it. Hey guys, it's Asher and Dylan from That Figure Skating Show. And if you like this video, and don't lie, we know you did, there's actually more where that came from. So subscribe to CBC Sports and click it. Click, click, click it real good. good. Da, na, 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 na.